so good. It opened up yesterday here in Chicago. Jason and Katie, mornings on US 99. But a lot of kids hear about it. They're like, Mom, Dad, I want to go see the new Joker. But it, it is not. That movie is not kid friendly. It's with Joaquin. Far. As a matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. But Joaquin Phoenix looks so good in that movie. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Oh, oh cool. God. Oh, my God. It looks good. It looks so good. I may go see that alone tonight. It's scary, though. I mean, rated right yeah. R, not for kids. Yeah, yeah, is it weird to go see a movie alone? No, absolutely not. What's What's that one movie, though, that you saw as a kid? And looking back now, you're thinking to yourself, holy crap, I can't believe I saw that movie or, when I was this age. Yeah, did my parents know what I was getting into when I went to that movie? Yeah, I'll get to mine in a second, but I actually went to mine with my mom. This is your mom's fault. Yeah, I would assume you'd have to go to these, see these movies with your parents, right? They like, probably shouldn't have brought you these or, things. Or they didn't, you know, card you or ID or there wasn't somebody checking the tickets or your well, age or anything. Whether that, whether it was like As maybe a, young kid, a PG-13 yeah. or a rated R or whatever it was or a scary movie. Maybe it, you know, freaked you out for life. Exactly. So, Katie, what's yours? It's that one movie that you saw looking back now as an adult. You're like, I can't believe I saw that when I was a kid. You know, this is not such a bad movie. It was my favorite movie growing up. It's still my favorite movie today. But there were some scenes in that movie that I'm like, it kind of probably ended up shaping, you know, my decisions later in life. <laughs> oh, um, gosh. Wait. I know. What? Okay. Footloose. <laughs> the movie Footloose with, you know. Kevin, Kevin Bacon, Bacon. Uh -huh. the, the, the original Footloose, the original. not the one with no, Julianne Huff. Don't even talk about that All one. right, no. okay. Do uh, you want to kiss me? Sunday. <laughs> How old were you when you saw that first? I was really little. I mean, I saw it a million times when it came out. I think I saw it like 83 times the year it came out. I was obsessed with it. But there are some scenes in that movie where she's very, she's wild. Yeah, she's they're they're wild. a little risque. Oh, she's like, you know, making out in the woods with her boyfriend. And she's talking to Kevin Bacon in that scene about... You know, kind of tempting him or taunting him, saying like, "Why, why haven't you kissed me yet?" Fast forward to Katie's teen years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, oh, all right, Aaron, you, you, I mean, looking back now, you're an adult. You, you saw it as a kid, and really, you shouldn't have. Same thing, kind of as Katie. It's a movie that is still my favorite movie, but is very that has a very adult themes to it. So my favorite <laughs> movie is Grease, and I actually saw hmm. that movie when I was three. My when you were three? When I was three years old. My grandmother showed it to me, and I came home and told my mom, and my mom was mortified. She was like, how could you let a three-year-old... And my grandma was like, listen. It's about it the has, music. It has it's some about, good music. She yeah. understands mom, nothing. I'm automatic. <laughs> I'm systematic. Yeah, exactly. She's like, she understands you nothing. You friendly, holding my hand. Well, she got friendly down in the sand. And I probably did not realize what any of that meant until I was in high school. I remember listening to the soundtrack and being like, oh, wow, it's kind of dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> real quickly, you're an adult now. You saw the movie as a kid. You shouldn't have. I realized this is something that ended up probably being torture for my brother. The movie Chucky. Oh, Child's oh my play. God. Wait, wait, how old were you? I was like three to five, somewhere in that range. That's a little scary. Oh, my God. So after that, I thought all my toys were going to come alive and murder me. Right. <laughs> No, no, stop, no, Jason! No. <laughs> oh my god! I genuinely would Ugh. not watch that now. Ugh. My name Ugh. is Jason, and I was, I don't know, 13 or 14, and I had just got my appendix out, and I was I had a couple of days off of school, and I said, Mom, can we go and see Risky Business with Tom Cruise? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> and my mom goes, Sure. I figured I would have gotten into trouble somehow. God, sometimes you gotta say, What the f? <laughs> Take your move. <laughs> I saw that movie totally. with my mom. Right with my mom. Uh, yeah, theme of Jason's life. What yeah. the bleep? That, that shaped the rest of my life, too. Yeah, believe yeah. Sure believe you me, if you know what that movie's about. You're an adult now, but you saw it as a kid. What movie? I mean, you should not have seen that movie. Let's throw this to Tinley Park right now. Charles, good morning. You're on with Jason and Katie on US 99. How old were you, and what was the movie, dude? I was like three or four years old, and uh, the movie was Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Happy Gilmore? <laughs> yes. Price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of swearing in that movie. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sid, you're on on the north side. Good morning. You're on US 99. Thanks for being a part of Jason and Katie. Good morning. What'd you see, Sid? Uh, basic Instinct. How old, uh, well, hold on. How old were you? Um, I was 16, and it was my very first date. But the funny part was oh. my parents were really strict, and I was my first date was with the Reverend's son, 
and they made me take my six-year-old sister with me. There's like Wait, a lot of sexual what? content in that one, right? Well, hold, hold on, I'm floored no. right now. I'm flabbergasted. I can't I believe this. So many questions. Right? I, I've never seen it. Is it? It has a lot of. What does it have in it? Wait a sec. Okay, so it, it is a very famous Sharon Stone movie that I I believe when it came out it was rated R, but I think they even discussed. Rated, rated X. X. Yes, they yes. did. Yeah, because okay. there's that one yes. scene. Isn't she wearing that white dress yes. with right. like yes. nothing on underneath? Right. Okay, and, yes. Well, I'm That's exactly right. But, Earmuffs, kids. <laughs> but there's a lot of other <laughs> scenes in that movie too that are very explicit. Very, you know, scenes that that no child should be seeing. That movie wow. is all horrible. about. Oh my so god! Oh my god! Oh, wow. Sounds like I shouldn't even be seeing it right now. Like right. I need an adult just hearing this. But, guys. Did, but did you hear what she said? She was there six with her six year old sister and the Reverend son and the Reverend at her first date. Yes. Okay. Uh, Madison, good morning. Morning. Thanks for being a part of the Jason and Katie show on US ninety nine. You're an adult now, but when you're a kid, you should not have seen this movie. What was the movie? It was. Scream. Scream? Yeah. Do you like scary movies? Uh huh. <laughs> Do you like scary Oh my God. I was like four or five years old and my babysitter was watching it. She was like, yeah, come watch this with me. Oh, of no. course. Way too young. Yeah. Hey, Madison, I got a question for you. Do you like scary movies? Uh huh.